Hello friends, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And tonight we are talking about the new Disney Plus offering. A celebration of the music of Coco. Woo! Good job. Oh, thanks. So, uh, we love Coco. We do. We do. And we love the music from Coco. We do. We discussed that in a previous video when we went through all of my Disney loves and There's soundtracks. Soundtrack. Yes. Uh, so, the music is quite good in Coco, of course it is, because it is in part about music and musicians and the barring of music and musicians. <laughs> Um, but it is uh, a lot of wonderful music that comes from that movie and, and cultural moments for Mexican Americans. And I mean, the movie I think takes place in Mexico. It does. As so, slash in the realm of the dead. Well, yes, there you go. <laughs> um, so this uh, concert was filmed back in November at the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, a beautiful outdoor sort of band shell type, but very large very venue. Large. Um, and yeah, they played live. There was a full orchestra. Lots of people were there to play uh, all of the music from Coco, plus a few little bonus gems. Um, and it was actually really, really fun. Yes, it was. Hosted by Eva Longoria and Benjamin Bratt. Um, but there was lots of scenes from the movie and oh, I mean, I just, I do love hearing those songs and it was really great to be able to relive that live. I agree. I think it is a nice excuse to revisit it with a different perspective mm -hmm. because it's not retelling the movie. No. It's reenacting the scenes that have songs in them. Mm -hmm. So we're not trying to crimp together, you know, uh, joining pieces. Mm -hmm. We're just going to have these songs. Just the songs. And we're going to have celebrities sing them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to enjoy it. Yes. And, you know, I thought it was really cute because um, the kid who voiced Miguel in the movie, the protagonist, um, when they tapped him to come back and do this performance, his voice had changed. He aged out. He aged out, poor guy, but he had a younger brother and he fit the bill. Oh, sounds very similar. <laughs> yes. They really sound, he sounds the same as the movie. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, your brothers could step in for you? Yeah, because I'm a terrible singer. <laughs> so I don't think anything would be lost if that was the gig. Okay. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> a little bit of honesty from Sean. Uh, so you enjoyed it. I did. Uh, we were watching it while Sean had his first My quarantine haircut. haircut. <laughs> I don't know if we should admit that or not. We can admit that. I mean, it's going to be more noticeable, I think, when you do mine. I know. And it's needing it. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. That's the test. Ooh. You've cut my hair before and I knew what I was getting into is going to be great. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I have never cut anyone's hair other than shaving my own head. And that turned out really bad, but <laughs> not because I did like a bad job with the razor. I just didn't look good. With it was a no bad hair. idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that, that generally sums up your hair from the first three decades of your oh, life. Oh yeah, it didn't. It so, never looked good. No. no. Not until... Not until I met you. Mm hmm But, I mean, hair wasn't even the first thing I changed about you. No. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be the last. <laughs> oh, Sean. Oh, mm -hmm. still getting better. I love you. Love you. Did you notice I'm wearing my skull dress? I did not. Cocoa? For the day of, yeah. Dia de la Muertes. Uh -huh. That's right. I was going to wear another Pixar dress, but I was like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a and minute. And you have had the makeup done mm -hmm. for the, mm -hmm. the Day of the Dead. I have had that done too. And it was beautiful. It and was. it took hours. It did. It took a long time. Worth it. Yeah. I mean, I, if I had those things here, I would be doing your makeup right now. Oh, that would be great. Mm -hmm. I could be a little Miguel. Well, you a could. big Miguel. 
a, yeah, a giant Miko. Yeah. All you need is a hoodie. Right, a red hoodie, yeah. <laughs> and it was great seeing all the people dressed up in the audience, too. Yes, it was. There, so, there were a lot of people that, that put on the, the makeup and the costumes. Mm -hmm. oh, it was really cool. It was really cool. And all the performers had terrific costumes. It was so bright and beautiful. Yeah, they really they went all out on this. Yes. It was uh, not just, I think, a celebration of the music from Coco, but a bit of a celebration for, for Mexico. Yep. Uh, a lot of um, tribute to its culture, and I mean, obviously there's a lot of beautiful things there to celebrate. So this doesn't begin to cover it, but it, I thought it was a nice little... Yeah, it's a good 40 or 50 minutes, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, just something different. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So if you're looking for something to watch on Disney Plus, and if you're a big fan of Coco and the songs, this is definitely something you're going to want to check out. So do it. So do it. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Bye for now. Bye.